my channel. How are you today? I am so glad to bring you guys this video because this video is in collaboration with Pop Sugar and Walgreens. So basically they were like Danny. This is what you gotta do. We're gonna send you a bunch of goodies and we want you to do a beauty tutorial for us. So I was like, hmm, you're gonna send me makeup and you want me to play with it. I think I can make that happen. So I thought long and hard and I looked at the product that was in my little care package and I came up with this look. So I really hope that you guys will enjoy this tutorial as much as I enjoy doing it for you. There are so many really cool, interesting new products that I actually hadn't seen at Walgreens before. So I kind of felt like I was ahead of the curve. So I'm actually really excited to share this tutorial with you guys. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Let's go ahead and get started. Big difference, right? I already prepped my skin with the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced Serum. So I use this as a serum or a moisturizer. And now on top of that, what I'm going to do is use the Botanics Radiance Balm. This is a really interesting balm because it has a beautiful um, tone to it. It's almost like a pinky pearl shade. And you, I apply it all over the skin, almost like a radiant primer. And I really like the um, look or effect that it gives me. And because strobing and highlighting is really on trend right now, I thought this would be perfect to give me that, you know, almost glowing from within look. In an effort to save time, I jumped off camera to do my foundation, but in my foundation, I took a little bit of that same Botanics um, Radiance Balm and I mixed it into a medium, a light to medium coverage foundation to create sort of like a lightweight, fresh face, dewy look. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the Botanics Radiance Highlighter Pen in the shade Fair, and I'm gonna use this for crazy highlighting. So we're gonna go with that theme of lightweight makeup, but we still want to draw attention to certain areas of the face. So I'm going to brighten underneath my eyes, the center of my nose, and my chin. So basically like the middle part of my face. So I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes, and then I'm also going to do it uh, on the center of my face like I told you guys. So just take a beauty sponge and bump that into the skin. Make sure that your sponge is damp so that you're able to move the product around. I like this product because it sets. Once it sets on your face, I mean it's there. It's not moving anywhere. So if you don't like to set with powder, if you have really dry skin, this is actually a really good um, highlighter pen for that. Now I'm gonna jump off camera and set my face with my favorite drugstore powder and do my brows and I'll be right back. Now what I'm gonna do is take this number seven perfectly bronze mosaic bronzer. Look at how beautiful this is. <sighs> Isn't that adorable? And so I love mosaic type products because you could kind of pick and choose a little bit the tone that you want to achieve. So I'm just going to use this to kind of bronze up my face a little bit, carve my cheekbones out just a little bit, just give them a little bit of definition, but nothing crazy. So I'm gonna try and avoid that like really beautiful baby pink. I'm gonna apply it right below my cheekbones and a little bit on the cheekbones because it does have that beautiful peachy shade. Um, it could be part of like the blush look. So don't be afraid with these like mosaic type products. They actually give you really beautiful end results. Now I'm gonna take this blush from Circa and this is one of the newest brands at Walgreens. <sighs> oh, I want everything. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of that right above where I bronze to give my cheeks a little bit of a little perk up. In an effort to save time, like always, I already did one eye as an example and now what I'm gonna do is show you guys how to achieve this look. It is so, easy and it's so simple and so classic but it still has that little bit of flair what's going on there what's so special so what i'm going to do is take this color saturated eye crayon from circa this color is so beautiful it's in the color pure topaz and i'm going to put it all over the lid and then blend it out really fast with a synthetic blending brush you have to work quickly otherwise you're going to get a really harsh line in the crease and you don't want that. It looks too, too messy. So what I like to do is I like to concentrate the color right in the middle and then I slowly work my way to the top, but I never actually get to the crease. You guys can see how creamy and buttery this color is, or these crayons are, 
but they actually dry on the eye. So they're creamy, but you gotta work fast. Then take your blending brush and run that along the crease, kind of dragging up the color just a little bit. It's going to kind of fade into the crease, so it's not gonna look like we have anything, any type of eyeshadow going up into the crease. It's just going to create a diffused look so that you don't get that harsh line. Then I like to take the same crayon and run that along the lower lash line. And you can smudge it out gently with just a shader brush if you want, but the color itself is so soft that it's not you know, important if you don't have too many brushes to create this look. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take something so special that I bet you've never seen in your life before. And this is from a brand called Color Prevails. And this is an eye shimmer powder. But look at the packaging, isn't that adorable? It's like a butterfly and then when you open it up, let me show you where the magic lies. When you open it up, it has a little sponge tip applicator. So it allows you to apply or deposit this like shimmer powder exactly where you want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply it in the inner corner right here in this like tear duct area and then just carry it down just a little bit. I'm not going to use too much of it. I'm just going to use the littlest bit because I want that like emerald, very unique, inner corner shade. Carry it to the inner corner and then just take your finger and blend it out just a little bit. And then drag it down about halfway through the lower lash line. So the liquid liner that I'm using is also from Circa and this one is actually in the color Vibrant Emerald. And I know it looks a little black, but if the light hits it just precisely, you can see it has almost like an emerald sparkle. And I thought this color is perfect to tie in that like, um, I don't know, like frosty inner corner, greenish, beautiful uniqueness going on here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm going to try and do my wing liner on camera. It's a little difficult, but I'm gonna try for you guys. I feel like you guys should chant for me, like, Danny, 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 because I get nervous. Wing liner is hard on camera. Make sure your wings match, and if they don't match, at least make them look like they're a little bit related. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a waterproof, smudge-proof, cry proof black liner and I'm going to apply that to my tight line and my waterline. Now what I'm going to do is take the number seven lash impact intense volume mascara. Look at how cute the packaging is. It's so pretty. It's so festive and I'm going to apply mascara. Simple, right? I like this mascara because it is a drier formula. So if you're in a rush, it kind of gives you uh, volume very quickly. You want to make sure your lipstick lasts. And if you don't want to use a long wearing matte lip color, what you can do is take whatever foundation you are using, concealer, and blot that on your lips. Then completely line your lips and then set it with a gloss. Your lipstick is going to stay on forever. So I'm going to take this lip liner from Circa and I'm going to completely line and fill in my lips. Then I'm going to take this Lustrous Shine Lip Polish from Circa. Look at the packaging. Isn't that fancy? I love it. And this is in the shade Lovely, Lovely Lace, number one. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So that's the completed look. What do you guys think? I really wanted to create a look that would bring out my brown eyes, that would be low maintenance, that wouldn't require a thousand products, and would still bring out just the natural features of my face. So I went with a lighter coverage foundation. I used green in the eyeliner and the inner corner to bring out the brown in my eyes to make them really pop. And I really wanted everything else to just be natural and radiant and glowy, which is on trend for this whole year, basically. You want really radiant skin. So I wanted my skin to be the center point, just really natural, 
radiant glowing skin. And in case you're wondering as to what's on my nails, I'm actually wearing a color from Essie, and this is the shade First Timer, which Walgreens also sent me, and I thought it was such a unique shade to pick. And I'm pretty sure that's where I got the inspiration to make my brown eyes pop with green eyeshadow. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. As always, all of these products can be found at your local Walgreens. I will list them in the description box below in case you're like, what was that lip gloss again? I got you, girl. I'm gonna list it in the description box below. A special thanks to Pop Sugar and Walgreens for having me do this video for them. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed doing it for you. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or something, please give me a thumbs up.